Alright, welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a structural drawing in order to import into your structural design software. In my designs, I want to tell you how to import this particular drawing to Orion for your structural design. So to do that, you have to have a predetermined design in your mind so you need to have some structural members you need to select some structural members and make sure you get a file like this this is the file that was sent to me by the architect or whoever that sent to you maybe maybe you have to make sure you get it in autocad or any other file format that can be opened in autocad so that you can prepare it for a dxf file to be imported into your particular design software so this is the drawing that was sent to me by the architect this is a ground floor this is the first floor you can see we have a cantilever by the side and also we have another cantilever as lobby a terrace that he has named it is a cantilever also by the side this the building this is the last floor which is the second floor and then um, it's a shopping complex we have lounge this is also some other features this is the roof the roof plan we have a connection between each the two buildings this is the front view of the building this is very important because you have the levels of the building and your structural design you have to also include all this level now this is important for you to have the elevation why because you need to know columns that extend from this place to this particular floor will not go further because we have a cantilever i have to terminate them here and also introduce other ones so this is the back of the building and we have all set for this our particular structural design so now to do that i have to check the size of the wall i'm going to pick my dimension tool i'm going to put it then i'm having two six three for my walls uh this is not too correct i'm going to pick here pick this point so it's two two five so then it's this i picked beyond the wall so this is two two five which is in millimeters so two to five is nine inches so yours i don't know the particular wall size they are going to be using so these my walls i want to make sure my columns does not exceed this wall height now if you look at this particular building the architect already have a column here this is a column he has introduced um, and some other columns at this particular point so it's obvious so this place is open then this place is open and this place is a lobby which is for work through and let me look at the second the first floor oh it's a terrace according to him and we have two staircases facing each other so without further ado let me just show you quickly i'm going to quickly erase this and i'm going to go to my layer properties i'm going to open a new layer to do that and let me just call it i'm going to call it in capital letters i'm going to call it first i'm just call it first call so I'm going to choose a red color just to make it obvious for you to see it. I'm going to click on this arrow. The line width, I'm going to make it obvious. I'm going to choose 0 0.5. And I'm going to double click to check it for you to be for that layer to be active. So I'm going to go to my rectangle tool. I'm going to click pull away this is white b but i don't want to use this i want to use a 225 by 225 column so i'm going to type d on my keyboard i'm going to hit enter i'm going to type d on my keyboard i'm going to hit enter i'm going to type 225 millimeters by 225 millimeters so there you go that's my column size so this is my column size. i'm going to copy it move it away from this particular uh, my project that I want to do now you have to copy this your particular project that was sent to you reproduce it keep it somewhere else because this is the one we want to work on I'm going to copy this my column okay it's already here let me use this one 
So I want to get the center point of this because I need to place the center point at the center of this grid to be able to know where my columns will be. So I have to get a line tool. I have to pick the center of this point, finish it, pick the center of this point finish it so this becomes my center point so if I'm copying this will be my reference point so I'm going to copy this I'm going to select only that I'm going to right click to finish pick the center to copy go to this my grid I'm going to drop it on my grid so this is my column this is my column so I'm doing this first on my ground floor because this will be my foundation that I want to do so I need to know where my columns are I'm going to put another one here I'm going to drop another column here I'm going to drop another column here I'm doing this so I will know how my beams and my columns will be and my beams need to be inside my wall so this is a staircase so this place is going to be a void so that is why I want to put two columns here because there's a wall running here I'm going to make sure there is a beam here so I'm going to introduce one here also I'm going to introduce this let me introduce one here so I'm going to introduce another one here let me just do this one more I'm going to show you why it's important then I'm going to do this I'm going to do this and also this one so let me just finish all and come back to you in a short while so this is the last one so I'm going to put the last one just to finish it so this is the last one so this is for the ground floor so now I've done for the ground floor so I have to quickly erase this let me erase this and I'm going to redo it again so this is for the ground floor which is my foundation this all these columns are going to be showing in my foundation layer so I'm going to go over to the first floor and also do the same so I'm going to open this and I'm going to call it uh, I'm going to call this particular one first first floor first floor call let's just call it first floor call I'm going to check it uh, I have to edit this I have to edit this just edit it to edit it you have to double click on it I'm going to call this ground ground floor call so I have to edit it check on it I have to check this particular layer let's see is also red let me change the color to maybe margin time so change it to margin time so I have to pick my rectangle this time I have to create another one I have to enter id enter 225 enter 5 enter so this is the one i've created i have to do the same thing let me share it into two get it divided into two then i'm going to then copy just copy it select this copy it on the middle and go to this my column i have to put now remember this is the first floor so this is the first floor so now the first floor from the first floor let me show you on the elevation this is elevation we have all columns still going up to this first floor now this is the trick the first floor hence here so this plan you are seeing that is here is this particular is the floor at this particular level which is this level this is the level this is seven that's seven meters so at seven meters so that is the floor plan you are seeing so what about the under of this particular floor 
So now the under of this particular floor looks the same as the ground floor. But when it gets to the first floor, it changes. When it gets to the, the second floor, it changes. So now this is the trick in it. So at that point where you have this particular floor, at this point where you have this particular floor, you are seeing a cantilever. Why? Because you are looking at it from the top. So you are seeing this cantilever. So now if you are placing your columns, your columns will have to be by this side. So your columns has to be by that side. So where the cantilever is, that's where your column has. So I have to place my column here. So I'll place my column here. That's a cantilever. I'll place another column here. I'll place another column here. I'll place another column here. Place another column here. Place another column here. I'll just do the place another column here. Place another column here because this is the cantilever. So I'll place another column here. Then I have to come to this cantilever also. Place another column here. Place another column at this cantilever point. Now it shows that these ones are starting from the first floor so they will start from the first floor towards the second floor because if you are looking at the first the second floor you are looking at it from the top so you are seeing the plan the plan is always from the top so that is a trick for signing this structural design so I have to place another one here I have to place another one here these ones that I'm placing is starting at this point here this is where I'm placing the particular columns so this place I'm placing the columns there I'm placing some here and I'm placing some here so this is the technique for knowing where to place your design your columns during your design so this one starts from this level this is starting from this level Placing one here, so I'm placing one column here, and I'm placing another here, and I'm placing another column here. So this is it. Then I have this particular one, this one's already there before, so I'm going to place this one here. I need to place this one here, let's place this one here. Down one here. So this is it guys. So now I'm going to right click and finish this. Then I'm going to come to my ground floor. Let me come to my ground floor and show you where each of this column they are going to terminate. So I'm going to select similar object. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come to this my ground floor. This is where my ground floor column is. I'm going to place it there. Now look at it. So it then means from this we have two sets of columns. So these my ground floor columns they are going to terminate at this first floor, the bottom of this first floor. So this is where they are going to terminate. So they are going to terminate at this point. So they don't exceed this. So this particular this particular ground second floor columns they go to the first to the second floor. This particular first floor columns they go to the second floor. So they terminate there. So now this is the trick. So what you do now is you copy all of this select similar select similar for both second floor columns similar then you superimpose them on your second floor so i'm going to superimpose them on my second floor which is here 
so I'm going to superimpose them on my second floor. So now look at it. This is beautiful. So it then means all of this, all of this particular columns, you can decide to leave it. But for me, I'm going to take them all out. So all of these columns, all of these columns. So this one is already landing on the window. So it means I need to take them out. They terminate at my first floor, which is going to be the headroom of my first floor. So they will terminate at the headroom of my first floor. Then. I can choose to leave some, I can choose to terminate some, so it depends on you, but for me, I'm going to terminate all of them, or you can choose to keep maybe the ones you want to leave, you can choose now, look at this, so this is beautiful, all our columns fall into place, inside our wall, inside our wall, except this, so you can knock this one off, so this one cannot proceed because it's already in it's already at the window so this one cannot proceed so you, you take this one out you can take this one out or you can leave whichever you want to leave you can choose whichever you want to leave but as for me i can take them out because this automatically the whole of this on um, my structural model is going to be my roof this is going to be roof beams and columns alone so this is going to be at this level let me show you it's going to be at this level so this level so that's going to be at that level that plan i'm saying is going to be at this level then this second floor this first floor plan is this level is that level then this ground floor plan is going to be at this level so what it means is your ground floor columns need to terminate at the headroom of your first floor then some of the columns will terminate there then some can proceed that is it guys the next tutorial i'm going to show you how we can import this into our structural design software using orion see you in the next tutorial